So I found this place where I can at least test it out how the speed is. So we're gonna go in the dynamics and put it in the sports mode. And seeing the autometer here, I don't have the lap test uh, meter, but um, the camera is recording, you're gonna get the speed. I'm gonna wait for it to lower the suspension and then we're gonna float it to see how fast the Cybertruck can go. And uh, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can see the videos in upcoming days. So here's the moment of truth. We're gonna hit it and see how fast this will go. And we're gonna go maybe about a quarter mile. So it is ready in the sports mode and let's go. Holy cow. All right. This is the first time I did that. And uh, yeah, I did not expect that from a truck to do this quick. So zero to 60, uh, the nerds out there can calculate it. If you guys wanna go in the comment section, um, I think it was about four seconds, uh, was pretty fast. Um, I don't know, maybe I can give it another go and uh, see the it's much better here on this surface. I mean, this is a uh, abandoned road, so there is nothing here, no drive, um, nobody is driving, so that's good. Because you don't want to do it in the streets because it's, uh, it's not a good idea to do it on the street because there are people out there. So we're going to try that again here. And press brakes and totally float it. It's on the sports mode and let's go. And I have left the uh, accelerator and the regenerative braking is kicking in. And uh, this is amazing, like how this is going to slow down the truck. And it completely almost comes to the stop. So really, I trust the Cybertruck. And I just wonder, this is the Cybertruck um, dual motor all-wheel drive foundation series what the cyber beast will do because um, if this can do this quick um, I just imagine how great the cyber beast gonna be and um, yeah so this is what we did in the um, I'll try in the off-road I don't know how off-road is gonna be but sports is the one where it is the maximum speed so let's give it a try how fast this can go a uh, little bumpy ride but um, okay let's try it in the you have to be in the park to to switch to off-road and off-roading will have less traction but let's try this in the off-road and drive Yeah, definitely there is uh, less traction when I'm doing it. So you gotta be really good with the control of the truck. Uh, regenerative braking system hits, slows down the truck. Yeah, it's much um, kind of like, more like floating ride on this kind of uh, road, which is paved but not fully paved but really amazing ride it's more comfy riding here but off-roading would be somewhere like you know just go uh, unpaved road but I don't want to do that at the moment um, so yeah off-roading the handling is something that you have to control yourself uh, I think the traction is uh, pretty low on it but uh, this uh, this was amazing testing so let me know guys uh, what do you think about it um, is there anything you want me to try or you guys are interested in? I'm going to stop here to go back to the uh, driving mode and we're going to go over the consumption. I've used 720 miles on this truck already. 
So we're going to talk about how that all experience is going, but let's go back to art and I'm going to change it to comfort. And that's where everything is back to normal. So now I can drive. Don't do off-road uh, driving. I mean, that mode is just for, you know, it, it says it all off-roading. So you don't want to be using that when you're uh, regularly driving, you know, going about your day. But it was pretty good uh, testing it out. Um, so I've done it uh, in sports mode twice, and then I've done it in the off-road. And this is the Cybertruck all-wheel drive dual motor. Let me know in the comment section. I also go and try to calculate it. Uh, you know, it's the video is shot in the real time. It's not gonna be sped up or slow down. So it's gonna be easier to calculate. I wish I had the a lap meter that actually tells you how was your start and then what was the zero to 60 because sometimes it is not exact second. Sometimes it's about, you know, that millisecond that you wanna capture like 4.1, 4.2. But um, yeah, I'll appreciate if somebody in the comment section knows how to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go for a meeting. And um, that's when I'm going to complete about maybe 735 miles on this truck. And uh, then I'll do update on the uh, energy consumption that how much uh, it has consumed energy. Because uh, I just wanted to give you guys the idea after driving it for so many miles so that you know like how 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 it how it is like and what mileage you can get out of it for the full charge so that's about it guys really enjoyed doing it uh this thing is incredible um i was literally overwhelmed doing it uh, but there you go all right see you in another one take care peace out